Okay, dudes, what is up? And we are here on Marvel Contest of Champions. Marvel Contest of Champions. <laughs> I like it, I like it. All right, today we are taking up my Luke Cage. Now, 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 now. I heard Luke Cage is absolutely amazing when he's awakened. Now, we haven't obviously got him awakened. But maybe in the future, we may will get him up there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, um, that's what I'm hoping. But I want to take him up. Only the reason why I'm taking up Luke Cage instead of certain other players now is because um, I've actually got loads of science um, stuff in my uh, stash. So I need to get rid of it. I need to get rid of it. And Luke Cage is here. If you guys watched the last leveling up when I done Abomination, I took out so much. Um, I took out too much. I took out too much um, science stuff. So now I have so much iron stuff in my actual pack. I need to get it out of there. So Luke Cage has to go up. I didn't want to do Luke Cage, but um, well, actually, you know what? In fact, on my rank twos. Really, I was gonna, yeah, you know what? I was gonna probably choose like Spider Man, then X Force, Deadpool, and then Luke Cage. But I thought, you know what? Since I've got all the science in there anyway, I might as well just do Luke Cage. And I like Luke Cage, he's actually kind of awesome. So, uh, let's go and check out Luke Cage and then we'll take him up. So, he's a four star, obviously, because you can see the lovely gold shimmering around the edges. <laughs> I'm crazy. All right. Anyway, so he's a four star, as you guys know. He's on rank two out of five, level 20 of 20, guys. Now, I always say, remember my masteries. Liquid Courage, Double Edge, 60% on attack. I always tell you guys that just in case you guys are like, well, how come your one is so high rated and my one's not? It's because of my masteries. And a lot of you say to me, can you do a video of your masteries? Dudes, I did do a video of my masteries. I've done a video of actually when I was doing my masteries. So just go back, check a video, just type in Super Gaming Family Masteries and it will come up. All right, so... Um, that being said, his overall rating is 1,823. Obviously, you guys know he's a science class, as you can see right there. His attributes. Now, he has health of 6,716, and his attack, his attack is 780. That's actually pretty high, which is awesome. All right, so his signature ability is tough it out. Luke, Luke Cage's remarkable skin allows him to become indestructible for a short period of time. Literally takes no damage for sure. <laughs> That's awesome. I want that. I really want to awaken Luke Cage now. Like, really. All right. So, he's got um, resist physical level 4, extortion level 4, and stun level 4 as well. And he's obviously, he's immune to bleed because his skin can't break. So, hopefully, they're actually, all these abilities are on level 4. So, hopefully, when we rank him up, they all go up a level. Normally, they all go up a level. So, hopefully, every single one of them abilities go up as well. Which is going to be really, really awesome. All right. Let's check out his bonuses. He gets a 5% block proficiency and physical resistance with Iron Fist. A 7% less special damage um, with Dragonaut and Iron Patriot. Now, let me ask you something. You see how he's got two characters there. Can you put either one on? Or do you have to have both of them on to actually take... a? Uh, Seven to have take seven seven percent less special damage. You have to have both of them on to activate that. I'm not too sure. And then you have a four percent perfect block chance with my cursed character Daredevil. I just can't get him. It's impossible. Especially why I say he's cursed, guys. It's because you know I went into arenas and I missed him by one spot. One spot. One spot. How many of that has happened to you? You missed a character by one spot. If I would have come in one spot more, I would have got Daredevil. But I didn't. All right, so time now to take him up a rank and get all this science stuff out of my box. All right, awesome. So as you can see, we got all the stuff there, which is absolutely cool. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Kaboomy! Rank up. There you go. Now look, as you can see, look at all this science I got in here. Look, so much science. I got so much science in there. Look at that. I've still got too much. I need to get rid of all of it. Look! Oh my god. Look, it's just so much in there. There's so much in there. Look. I can't even got that in there as well. I don't even think I've got any more science to even use it on. That's crazy. I'm gonna have to use it on someone else. I don't know who, but we'll find out. Alright, so here we go. This is actually pretty quick because I had everything in there. Now you know why I wanted to do Luke Cage. I was gonna do a couple other characters first. Oh, we could take Luke Cage up to rank four. No, I wouldn't do that. 
He's not awakened. No, he's not awakened. All right, so now let's go and check out Luke Cage. So now, Luke Cage is on rank three, which is awesome. He's not the lowest one. The lowest one is actually Hawkeye, which is actually surprising because Hawkeye is actually kind of good. So let's check him out now. Go to information. And, uh, all right, so um, he's on rank three of five, a level 30 of 30 now. And his overall stats is 2,579, which is actually pretty good. He's got his attributes. His health is 9,400 and his attack is 1,090. As you can see, his abilities all went up a level. So now all of his abilities are on maxed out level 5, which is absolutely awesome. So now let's compare him. So 9, 4 and 1,090. Let's go and compare him to like, let's compare him to the lowest character, which is Hawkeye, right? On rank 3, let's compare him to Hawkeye. So if we compare him to Hawkeye... So Hawkeye has 10 less um, damage and he has about 600 less health as well. All right, that's understandable. Let's compare him to Hulk. Let's compare him to Hulk. That's what I want to see actually. Let's compare him to Hulk. So Hulk has a little bit more health by nearly 200 and he has a lot more attack like by like but nearly 60, which no 64 actually, which is a uh, wow. All right. Um com let's compare him to say Hulkbuster. Let's see if we compare him to Hulkbuster. All right, so Hulkbuster has better stats than him as well. Only by a little bit on attack, by 11 on attack, and only nearly 200 on um, health. So not that much. Guillotine. Let's compare him to Guillotine. I like comparing characters. So a Guillotine is much more heavier hitter, like by 54, but she has uh, a lot less health, like 1,200 less health. That's kind of a big difference. 1,200 can make the difference, guys. Really can. Let's compare him to my Winter Soldier. Now my Winter Soldier has been awakened a lot of times. So let's compare him here. So he has better attack, 10 attack, and he actually has more health by about 500 more health as well. So he has better stats than him, which is crazy. So he seems good. He seems really good. I want to awake him. I really want to see that signature ability tough it out. I want to see how it works. I want to see if he literally takes no damage whatsoever for a short amount of time. That would be actually pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. But okay, dudes, Luke Cage. He look, he does look awesome. He actually, he really does. He does look awesome. I like him. I like how he looks. He looks really cool. And his fighting style is nice. It flows through nicely. I really like his fighting skill. Especially the big head by the end. Boom! It looks awesome. But all right, dudes. That was, uh, we were ticked up Luke Cage there. And, whoa. I burped while I was talking. Does that ever happen to you? <laughs> all right, anyway. So, we took Luke Cage up to rank three now. Because we had all that science in there, we had to get rid of it. And I still got some in there. I need to get rid of that as well. But all right, dudes, that was another leveling up. And we'll see you guys in the next episode, dudes.